Hey guys, it's Brian with Turp Mechanic. Today I want to share with you a gardener's secret. This is something that many gardeners out there know about, but lawn care people don't necessarily know about it. Hardcore gardeners will use this tactic in their gardens to have better plants, but we as lawn owners can use the exact same tactic to have a far better performing lawn throughout the entire year using less water and less fertilizer. The trick to using this tactic, however, is to find yourself a nice, wet, rainy day when it's cold, just before spring happens, and right after you aerate the lawn. That is the exact scenario that I've got right back here. It's actively raining right now, and yesterday I aerated the lawn. If you get close to that lawn over there, you're going to see holes, little channels going deep down into the soil profile. Now you don't necessarily need those channels, but the process works a lot better. It's more efficient if you do aerate before you do this. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be using a hose end sprayer. This is my Chameleon. You could use that or any other brand, Ortho, Hudson, or whatever you happen to have in your garage. We're gonna fill it up with water. If you got a gigantic area, I don't, but if you have a gigantic area, then you probably wanna use uh, a two, three, or four gallon sprayer. And then here's the secret sauce. This is soluble mycorrhiza. Brand, this is the brand that I'm using. There's plenty of stuff out there. If you go to a garden supply store, they'll probably have something very similar. Mycorrhiza is a type of fungi that works with plants. We call it a symbiotic relationship. It's kind of like a friend, like I help my friend with something and then my friend helps me in return. This fungi lives below the soil surface and it cannot photosynthesize. It can't create its own energy. So it lives, let's call it like a parasite, off of the grass. But unlike a parasite, it doesn't just take energy from the grass. It gives in return. It gives nutrients and water in return. The fungi, as it grows under the ground, attaches itself to the grass root system. We call it inoculating and colonizing. And then it grows deeper into the far reaches of your subsoil. And it can go into the microscopic pores of various things underground. Things that grass root systems can't tap into because they're too big. The symbiotic relationship means that in exchange for energy that the fungi gets from the grass, it reaches the nutrients and water that the grass can't reach and gives it back to them. Does that make sense? Your grass can get nutrients and water because of the fungi that it wouldn't be able to tap into otherwise. Mycorrhiza fungi is incredibly natural and in certain environments it is in abundance. Something like 95% of the plants on this planet rely on a mycorrhizal symbiotic relationship to thrive. However, in our lawn soils, topsoils that get put into our lawns over the years rarely have very much of it in it. And because so many homeowners out there throw down chemicals and fungicides constantly, year in and year out, what is there is fairly weak. I don't tend to use very many synthetic fertilizers or chemicals in my lawn, but I have no idea what previous homeowners did to this soil over the years. I'm going to introduce new mycorrhizal fungi into this lawn soil, and throughout the season, I'm going to continue to add it and support that network. Because mycorrhiza doesn't do anything at all to your grass or any plant until it colonizes and latches on to the root system of the plant, it has to be down in the root zone. After core aeration, it's way easier to get anything down to the root zone. You could use a granular version of this stuff, but you don't need very much. Like the physical quantity is a very small amount. I'm gonna be applying one ounce, probably less than one ounce of soluble mycorrhiza to this lawn space, about a thousand square feet. If you use a granular product, it's darn near impossible to evenly spread it across the whole lawn, which is why I recommend a soluble product that you can dissolve in water and then spray it all over the lawn. It's best to do this in really nice, damp soil 
during a heavy rain or a long, slow rain, or if you really want to get out there with a lot of sprinkler action, then you can do that as well. Most people in the month of February and early March don't have their irrigation set up, so doing this around a nice, cool, rainy day is really awesome. All right, now on this channel, I like to show after shots. After I do something, I want to at least wait a little bit so that you can see some of the results, if not all of the results. This particular product, there's no results. There's not going to be an after shot. This does not kill weeds. This is not a fertilizer. It's not going to make your grass grow. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been something like eight, nine days. Today is March 4th. Here are the, I don't know, semi, semi futuristic um, results shots. Mostly what you're seeing here is just, I don't know, this is spring. The days are longer now. Nine days have passed. We got some moisture from the rains and things are starting to come back. I've even got a little bit of grass starting to come back through my leveling job. Certainly over the next month or so, everything is going to look way, way better. Proper spring better. As I'm applying this, it's literally February 25th. The lawn looks rough because part of it's dormant and part of it's not. And I just ripped it to shreds with a mechanical aerator. As it rains behind me, all of that mycorrhiza is slowly making its way into the soil system so that when spring takes hold, that mycorrhiza has already colonized the new root systems that are growing. The after shot of this is gonna be in mid spring when you see it going nuts, thickening to the point that it's hard to believe, all without excessive irrigation. Full results really aren't going to come until like mid-April to mid-May, somewhere in that range. But after only nine days, man, nine days at the end of winter, you can literally already see the difference. Many of you watching this have never watched my channel before. This is a brand new lawn to me. I just moved into this house just a few months ago. I used products like this on my last yard. Now, up here, kind of over my truck, I'm gonna to link to two videos. One of which is where I go into a little bit more of the science behind how the soluble mycorrhiza takes effect in the lawn. But if you wanna see what my last property looked like while I was applying this kind of product and others similar to it, then watch the video link down here. This shows you the effects of incremental improvement and a natural lawn care strategy.